Alejandra and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different as you can tell from the title. Oh, I hope you enjoy and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. I guess what I want to say is that at this point right now, it's more than just about the immigrants. It's more than just about them coming here illegally. Most of you can say, why don't they just do it the right way? Well, you know what? If they complain so much about how they're getting treated, then why did they break the law in the first place? It's so much more than that. Regardless of our differences, we should be able to see that it's not okay to be treated the way that they're getting treated. Those sayings as in go back to where you're from, and we're in America, speak English. The sayings of build the wall, those are hurtful. There's no reason to speak to somebody like that. Personally, do you think that it feels good to go to a store and not be able to shop comfortably because there's workers behind you watching your every move because they think you're going to steal just because of your race? Why do they come here? Because they want a better future for their family. Because they want a better future for themselves. Aren't we all just striving to have a better future? The saying as in why don't they just do it the right way? The reason why they don't do it the right way is because the right way isn't easy. It's not only not easy, the time that it takes the money that it takes you don't know when you'll get them and you can't be sitting there waiting why <laughs> because your kids are gonna starve because your kids don't have shoes but regardless of reasons why they come here because they're endless they've never came here to harm they don't do jobs that are easy they take the first thing that they can find because anything is something to them and it's a lot more than they would ever have living back at home. They don't deserve to be treated like that. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. And us as humans, we should know that this is not okay. Us who stand beside, let's make America great again. This is your definition of great. This isn't great. And it just hurts to see my people locked in there like that. And I don't think it's humane for them to be locked there with no food, no showers. They can't brush their teeth. They can't do anything. They have the same clothes on. They're all locked in a little place. And I personally feel like the let's make America great movement, that's something that's just rooted in hate. That's something that started from hate. It's not about making America great again. It's about getting the people who don't look like you, who don't think like you, out. I'm tired of constantly feeling like I'm of a different kind just because of my race. But not just me, but there's no reason to hate on someone just because they speak a different language or just because they have a different skin tone color. There's no reason that someone who's out there raping people, there's no reason that somebody who's out there selling people for sexual trafficking are out there doing big, bad, horrible things should be released. And then the people who have just came here to work be locked up in there like that. And I sit here and I think, what can I do to help? And sometimes I myself am mad and angry because I feel like there's nothing that I can do and I want to do more. And I thought that maybe with this video, I could show you guys that it's not easy. I want some of you guys to know that we all have a heart. We all have feelings. We all want to be okay with one another. Being Mexican American, it hurts to see family members afraid. It hurts to see friends being afraid of whether they're next. I have a lot to say on this. I feel like we see this in the media, we see this in the news, but we don't say anything because it doesn't bother us. Why should we care? Some of us feel like we're not as educated to speak on it. Sometimes I'm torn because I wish that I could do more. There's not much that I can do other than to say that educate yourself on what to do if their circumstances ever come but for all of us that believe that we should make america great again that doesn't mean destroying families that does not mean tearing people apart but i'll forever be proud of who i am and there's nothing that's gonna ever change that and whatever anybody knows if we can do something let me know because i'm all for it i'm tired of staying silent and i'm tired of not saying anything it's about working to provide it's about working for a better future that we have never asked for anything we have always worked for what we have we have never extended our hands out in hopes that something would be gifted to us. I know personally that it's not like that. I think it's sick to think that they deserve that and I think it's sick to think that they shouldn't have came here in the first place. And I can guarantee you that if you had nothing left and the only way to succeed, the only way to make sure that your family had what they needed, whether it be food, house, 
shoes, whatever, I know that you would do the same thing, whoever you are, because that's us as humans, that's our human nature. And I hope that you know that we're all in this together, regardless of whatever it might seem like, because I'm here for you and for anyone who ever needs it. And I honestly hope that if you if you stand with the Make America Great movement, I hope you know this isn't great. Y a toda mi gente, quiero que sepan que juntos estamos porque sabemos la razón por la que venimos aquí. Y sabemos que unidos vamos a salir adelante. Nunca vayan a agachar la cabeza por quien son. Porque nosotros sabemos que la vida es difícil y sé que nosotros nunca hemos pedido nada regalado. Y con eso les digo que puro para adelante mi gente.